welcome to Colors of India, the show that you eagerly look forward to every Sunday. Let's take a quick look at the main stories this week. The Kathak Mahotsav Women Instrumentalists And for a happier tomorrow. The Katak Mahotsav is an annual event that the Katak Kendra puts together to bring together various traditions and forms of Katak. It also helps in the evolution of this dance repertoire. Rhythmic footwork under the weight of a hundred ankle bells. Spectacular spins and defined bhava. An abstract exploration of rhythm and movement. The aim of Katak Mahotsav was to revive, revisit and relish the original solo form of Katak. This year, the Mahotsav is dedicated to great Guru Kundalal Gangani Ji. He advocated the solo format of Kathak. So we have tried to focus on the solo format. And the middle and the senior groups of Kathak artists are um, invited to perform here. <laughs> Raigar's Vasanti Vaishnav began with Ganga Uttaran, a solo choreography in praise of Lord Shiva. She then went on to portray Raigar through her adept dance moves, accompanied by Pandit Sunil Vaishnav on Padant and Irshad Khan on the vocals. Young students of Kathak also performed a group repertoire, choreographed by Jai Kishan Maharaj, titled Drupat Basanti Leela. The stage was set to depict the scenic beauty of Vrindavan and the piece began with young Krishna playing his basuri or flute. अनेक नृत्य संरचनाएं की हैं और आज के दिन मेरे शिष्य और मेरे बेटे भी हैं त्रिभुवन महाराज वो लोग सब एक संरचना कर रहे हैं ध्रुपद वासंती लीला के नाम से तो ऐसे तो मैं रचनाएं अपनी करते ही रहता हूं
Radha soon joins him and before long the gopis of Vrindavan spot them under the moonlight and joins in too. Drupad Basanti Leela highlighted the beauty of young Krishna, his playfulness and his enduring charm, which never fail to attract Radha or the gopis. It's such a big platform and to dance in this platform is such a big opportunity for me to show to people uh, what is my caliber and how, you know, how to keep this legacy that is going on in the path. Kathak, Kathak just means everything. It's, it's a way of connecting to God, you can say. It's, it's, it's a very divine art and uh, it's really because when you are in your practice, you're practicing alone at home, it's really a way when you can just you know, see the path towards going towards God. The real beauty of Kathak lies in the exact rendering of the rhythmic patterns which are made audible by musical accompaniments and the dancers' intricate footwork. Different traditions of Kathak were brought together under one single platform and it was indeed a celebration of this great classical dance form. Well, it's here that we take a tiny break but Colours of India will be right back. Welcome back. To an untrained eye, Gondart looks like an amateur work with many dots and lines. But to someone who knows its worth, every single Gond art piece has a story to say. Madhya Pradesh's tribal art form Gon is said to have over 100 different recognized patterns of painting, each unique to a particular artist or to a family of artists. At the gallery in the Academy of Fine Arts and Literature, Arpana Kaur has exhibited her private collection of Gon art. fascinated by these art forms because of their innocence and they are very close to the earth and uh, they are raw and elemental. So these are things and they are fellow artists. So apart from being attracted to these forms, the other uh, obligation I felt as an artist who was now selling, I also had my 20 years of struggle when I didn't sell any painting. So you can understand struggle. You know, an artist is always walking on a razor's edge. And when I became a successful artist, then I felt that I also need to support others who are, you know, in less fortunate circumstances. Go 
Gond art is done in black and white or in color and the inspiration is always nature and social customs which are creatively reflected using subtle folk wisdom. The Flying Plane, a work of art by Jangra Singh Sham, who was a pioneer of Gond art in the urban milieu, is also on display here. Now it's really blossoming and uh, you know it has a value to it because art uh, is recognized unfortunately when it acquires a market tag also. So now this art has acquired a market tag and the artists are more comfortable and more known than they were 20 years ago. Nature is the key theme in all these artworks and some of nature's forgotten wonders are beautifully portrayed here, like the friendship between the dog and the wolf or the painting of the titty bird which sleeps on its back to protect itself and her eggs from the falling twigs. Using brilliant hues, the language of the soul is expressed through God art. If the appearance of this motif on souvenirs and household items are anything to go by, then Gond art is definitely on its way to popularity. Now, women playing instruments, that's a rare sight. But at the All India Radio organized event, one got to see a lot of women striking the right nose. At the All Women Hindustani Classical Instrumental Music Concert, one got to listen to as many as 11 artists and their chosen instrument of musical expression. कलाकारों के लिए कभी ऐसा कार्यक्रम नहीं हुआ और खास तौर पर ऐसे साजों पर जो जिन पर ज्यादातर पुरुष जो हैं वो काबिज थे तो आप ऐसे साज जैसे सारंगी है तो सारंगी पर बहुत कम महिलाएं आपको मिलेंगी बहुत रियरली तो अभी एक महिला हमने तलाश की है वासंती श्रीखंडे जो पंडित रामनारायण जी की शिष्या हैं ऐसे ही संतूर पर हैं और पखावज पर रेयरली आपको देखेंगे कि कोई महिला पखावज वाद का है Namrata Gaikwad kick-started the evening with Shehnai. Popularly believed to be an instrument meant for the men alone, Namrata broke all myths and played Raag Ghargosh Kalyan very smoothly with Hinas Khan on the tabla. broke the age-old concept of women musicians being limited to certain specific instruments. Sarangi exponent and the last female Sarangi player in this generation, Vasanti Shrikande played the Sarangi on Rag Saraswati, mesmerizing the audience. It is not a man's world after all. But 
what grabbed the eyeballs was the jugalbandi between the first female pakhavaj player chitrangana agale reshwal along with tabla maestro hetal mehta joshi on teen tal pakhavaj or the indian percussion instrument is known to be the mother of north indian style drums and the beats complemented with the tabla in thralling one and all basically you will find uh, many women vocalists kathak dancers but uh, lady instrumentalists as compared to them are very few uh, there are many reasons if I, if i would uh, like to state that tabla is a percussion instrument and it is basically an accompanist instrument so you have to be with someone all the time in order to get the programs you there are tabla solo recitals but very few and percussion it requires a lot of strength also as compared to other instruments so there are many few uh, lady tabla players vichitra veena was up next the instrument has no frets is kept on the floor and is played using a slide radhika umdekar budakar a well known artist in this field strung the chords of the veena on drag maru bhik last but not the least chandrima majumdar played rag rageshwari on sarod once again hinas khan supported her on the tabla from the slow to the fast to the furiously fast chandrima builds the music up to a crescendo you'll find a lot of vocalists and dancers all over the world who are women but not instrumentalists uh for some strange reason uh, i don't know at least i can say that when i wanted to start learning the sarod i was told that no women don't play sarod so you know we have these kind of hang ups and uh, sort of notions people have set notions and some mindset that uh, uh women don't look good while playing a tabla or a pakhava you know some people even have these things in mind but i think uh we are here to <laughs> just offset all those notions and mindset a celebration of womanhood through music and if in this process a few myths were broken and new records set then so be it was a celebration of womanhood through music and if in the process a few myths were broken and new records set then so be it well it's here that we take a tiny break but colors of india will be right back
welcome back. We now move over to an exhibition hosted by the ICCR. This one is titled For a Happier Tomorrow. For a happier tomorrow, this was the theme of Gauri Sahani's art exhibition. Step in and you're sure to get carried away by the brilliance of these lively paintings that dot the walls. An optimist and a strong believer in God, when Gauri thought of decoding her thoughts into paintings, she brought in the concept of surrealism into her artwork. is surrealism and uh, it's contemporary and the technique that I have used I have tried and tested I have traveled the world and I know that this technique has never ever been used by anybody colors are often used as a metaphor for moods and Gauri thought of splashing her color board with bright shades to exude cheerfulness hope and faith for a better tomorrow the exhibition has two themes. The first is called Lakshmina Rain, where Gauri has tried to portray the virtue and purity of the deities through the use of symbols, like the lotus. Happier tomorrow because my entire series is based on Lakshmi ji and Narayan ji or Shiv ji or Parvati ji. Wherever they go, obviously they bring in a lot of happiness, a lot of positivity and uh, that's why for a happier tomorrow. The parallel theme is called Urban Settlement Amidst Nature. The paintings are about the inherent importance of nature despite urbanization and mechanization. Not wanting to be restricted to just paintings, Gauri has also on display sculptures and 3D installations around the same theme. The exhibition is indeed one complete package. Works of art are but a means to express one's thoughts and hopes. Now we have for you Drupat, which is hailed as the first form of classical music. It is also called the Song of Truth or the True Song. At the ICCR organized Drupat Festival, Listeners of classical music were transported into another realm. To begin with, concerts like this are rare these days and on top of that, the singer was a woman. A rare event in the case of Drupad music. आलाप बहुत टाइम लेता है मेनली आलाप ही सब कुछ है इसलिए आलाप तो करना ही पड़ेगा 20 मिनट उसके बाद स्थाई अंतरा ध्रुपद का चौताल का तो करना ही पड़ेगा इसके बाद धामर थोड़ा सा सुना दूं होले का टाइम है द सिंगर इरा मुखर्जी इज अ फॉर्मर फैकल्टी ऑफ रविंद्र भारी यूनिवर्सिटी इन कोलकाता एंड शी इज अ नोन ध्रुपद सिंगर Ira's musical talent could be seen in the way she elaborated the smallest of notes for long minutes using many different techniques. The only singers we knew at that time were the male singers. It was basically part of lack of information on the Drupad singers and I thought to myself that not to have any female Drupad singer would not be a good idea, particularly even though it is known to be a male a singer's forte, but I thought that there must be some female singers in the country, uh, in, in this area. 
and fortunately we were able to find two what differentiates drupad from other forms of classical music is its style of presentation elaborate ragas or alap is the longest part of a drupad performance the dumar is the lighter aspect of drupad and is accompanied by the pakwaj I have really not heard something like this before. This is the first time that ICCR has taken the initiative and I was able to, you know, listen to it. And the best part is listen to a lady. As everybody knows Dhrupad is the origin of the whole of uh, classical music, Indian classical music. And it's very rare that you find ladies singing. The sophistication of this style of singing is something that is unmatched in the world of Indian classical music. Swami Vivekananda was a Drupad singer, which is why the festival was organized to commemorate his centenary. Well, that's all we have for you on this week's episode of Colors of India. You can of course send in your suggestions and feedbacks onto our Facebook page and also catch us while you're on the move on RSTV Live or on YouTube. and until we meet again goodbye